Got a nice small here, guys, on the crankbait. She is too. Oh, we gotta be careful here. Always be careful with feisty male smallmouth and lipless crankbaits because that will fly off so fast off your face. Nice long skinny male. Hasn't spawned yet. He's a pretty fish though. Nice long, healthy, and uh, yeah, the water's a little muddy. A lot of people, there you go bud, he's actually really tired, and I'll tell you what, he might actually be spawning, um, but this water's been really muddy, smallmouth absolutely love crayfish, I mean absolutely love them, and uh, let's see if there's another one in there. And the big thing about smallmouth is this time of the year, they're actually looking for the crayfish. Uh, I believe most of them are probably post spawn. To be honest with you, in the creeks, by the way, not out in the river. Not all the fish are going to come into the creeks. Um, but the water's been up so high. that these fish are a little discombobulated. And uh, reason for that, you know, smallmouth like sight feeding. Um, they, they really do, but they will hit in muddy water. A lot of people think that if you get muddy water, the fish are not, the smallmouth are not gonna hit in it. And it's absolutely not true. I've caught some of my biggest smallmouth in muddy water and especially my largemouth in muddy water. Um, it's all about finding what they want and how they can find the bait more than anything. They're going to be around structure, current breaks, all of that. Cast in the same spot multiple times, fellas. Make a nice long cast. Oh, snag. One big thing about lure fishing is seasonal patterns all that stuff I actually did see him chase this and I threw back in there but threw it more downstream and the fish hit it we're actually going to be meeting up with Marty today alright one thing if you're fishing this creek do not leave your trash if you're man enough to bring it be a man enough to throw it away there should be a fish in here or at least another one I would think there he is Oh, that was a big fish. That was a big fish. Golly, did he break that off? No. Golly, that was a big one. Golly. I'm using, uh, a seven foot medium heavy rod and 14 pound test. Now when the water is pretty muddy, it doesn't really matter what your pound test is. I'll be honest with you with that. But I like to stay in the 10, 12 to 14 pound range for times like this. Especially with a bait caster, I don't like anything lighter than 10. Oh, I just got crushed right there. Oh, he crushed me. The big thing about it is, is just keep, keep throwing and find what they want, ladies and gentlemen. They want this lipless, 
And I'm gonna keep giving it to him until I lose it. Because eventually I probably will end up losing this today. Golly, that was a big one. That was probably a largemouth, to be honest with you. Just the way he shook his head there. And you don't want a major league hook set with a with a lipless. What you want to do is just lay into him. When you feel that bite, you just lay into him. And what I mean by laying into him, let's say if I got a bite right here, I just boom. Sometimes you can't tell if it's a snag or it's a fish. Most of the time, it's going to be a fish. But, ah, oh. that might have been a big smally too, boys. You just never know. Hybrid could have been a big walleye, sheephead. Sheephead will eat these liplesses too. I've seen it. All right, let's move up a little bit, huh? That might even have been a trout. <laughs> There's still some trout in here, I know there is. There he is. Nice little guy, and he's side hooked. Hey. I don't know who that was, but hello. Nice little chunk, Smalley. Let's get him back in the water. See you, dude. Probably Diego's dad, I think. Well, we're here with Marty. He's getting bites. Getting Look a... at him about to get a catfish. Yeah, he's about to take it now. Oh, he wants to. That or a big sheephead. Uh, I think it's a catfish, though. The way he's playing with it. Sorry, guys, I gotta get. Chicken here. Is he running with it? He's oh, he was running in with it. I had that. It's a large mouth, small large mouth. It's not a spot. We're gonna go right here for a little bit. What I actually should do is get down into the water. But I'm gonna stay up here for right now. Alright, here we go. Here we go. That was something chasing. That actually might have been a trout. Small mouth, pre-spawn. Yeah, baby. 
that's what you want right there. Bill Lewis crankbait, smallmouth bass, that's what you want, boys. Now, that fish was actually pretty up into the rocks there, so that's telling me that they're positioning inside these rocks. These rock bends. My buddy Josh asked, "Why do you want? Why do you want to go down current when you're fishing?" Reason number one: If you're going to be walking in a creek and the fish start seeing even more muddier water, they know something's coming. Those fish are not stupid at all. They are not. These fish are not stupid. They know They know when something doesn't feel right, look right, seem right. And when they see, here I'll show you. I mean, when they see this right here coming down, they know something's walking. And especially with these creeks are a little bit more silty than anything else. So, um, and right now it's real easy to trick these fish too in muddier water. But... When the water's clear and you're fishing in a creek, when you're fishing in a creek, they're not used to seeing this. But at the same time, they are looking for something. And this red crayfish color is a perfect example. So I'm actually going to walk down a little bit here and start hitting some more of these little... Uh, someone was here earlier. We didn't get that fish. That's what you want is a red cr red style crankbait early preseason. That red shows up really good. And with this little lipless, I believe it's a quarter ounce. with this quarter ounce perfect little meal to represent a red crayfish and it just shows up really good and they they feel that and they hear that and it makes them go knuck and butts so the time that I leave Morty is the time that he catches a muskie I'm so happy for you dude you have no idea Morty's been waiting to get his first muskie in a long time Ah, oh, about damn time that dude gets a muskie. Fish of 10,000 casts, boys. That's for damn sure. Got one, guys. Wow, this little guy's fighting. Oh, fat, fat, and more fat. I believe he's eating on crawfish, my man. My fisherman. Ooh, that's why I say be careful. Hang on, buddy. Get your little stinky butt up here. Now, I just swam a paddle tail through all that. And he sure as heck didn't want that paddle tail. So that's telling me, number one, these fish here are eating on crawls. Look how chubby that little fish is. Just a little chunk. Just an absolute little chunk. Let's get him back in the water. See you, dude. Now, I put the I put the paddle tail rod down. I'm actually going to leave it there, and I'm going to go further up creek. I know these fish want this. Once you guys pick up a pattern, stick with it. Do not change. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Like all these fish are pretty, pretty darn healthy right now. They're fat. They're feeding. They know what time it is. They really know what time it is. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. That's one thing you guys gotta watch. These hooks are very sharp. And if you get behind a rock, it's done so. 
especially if you have hip waders, and I have no more of this color. Put it all the way up here now. He's got it that time. That's a good one. Oh! Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, no! That right there is probably why I lost that fish. The hook's a little bent. Time to use the GoPro to re-bend re it. That was a good fish too. I feel like there may be other ones there because that just felt that just felt a little weird. Felt like I got hit two or three times there. These fish are setting up really well. That was a nice fish too. Golly. Uh. Oh, I just got hit right there. Right in front of me. Big thing about it is, okay? Look for breaks in the water. And what I mean by that is you'll see some current and then you'll see a rock break it out and open it up. And you'll see pools and you'll see the bubbles and everything sit perfectly right along there. And that's where those fish are sitting right now. They're sitting in them rocks, they're sitting in the pools, and they're sitting in the breaks. It could be one little fish, I mean one little stick, and there could be four fish on it. You just never know. That's the cool thing about fishing, guys, is that you'll never know. I think these fish are really starting to push in and uh, they're really feeding on craws. And it's not every cast either guys, like I've, like I've been saying, you've got to, oh my, you've got to fish a certain spot work it for a while milk it for every second that you're there make sure you're hitting at every angle because you don't know where these fish are at and you don't know when you're going to trigger them oh right at three right, oh my god it's a giant it's a giant it's a giant oh my god oh my god no 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 i still have my spool open and i have a major backlash but i'm getting this fish he hit right here. Oh my God. That, whoo. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that was insane. Oh my gosh. Look at that one, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hit me right here. I bounced it off a rock. Oh, I got to get a picture of that one, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, that was sick. All right, let's get him back in the water. You ready? See a pretty girl. Oh. Yeah, that was sick. Look at that backlash. I had my spool open because I didn't want him to break me off. So I was letting line out. I should have my drag set, but I never have my drag set. <laughs> Only when I know I'm fishing for largemouth and heavy cover or fishing around some really big fish. That was sick. That got me pumped. That literally got me pumped. I gotta go up to that big hole up there too. I got to. There he is. Walleye. Little walleye. 
Hey, 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 hey. Little skinny guy. Everything likes crayfish. Look at those teeth on that little guy. He's pretty skinny. Skinny mini. Here you go, bud. And actually, I've been down the river for a little while. And, uh, and I've been seeing a lot of small walleye fry. I mean, a lot of walleye fry. Surprised he's all the way up in here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, you're stupid. I just caught a freaking trout. You kidding me? You ki <laughs> oh my gosh. He was sitting right here. He hit a lipless crankbait. What the heck is going on? That's the third trout I've seen today. Alright guys, I'm going to end it out here. I really appreciate you guys been watching and uh, liking and thumbs up and everything. Um, hopefully I gave you enough tips in this video for you to pick up a lipless crankbait and go after them smallmouth bass or any style of crankbait and go after them smallmouth bass in a craw pattern because this is one of my favorite things to do is to crank for a smallmouth all day every day I love it but uh I'm gonna head out of here guys I know I look like I am prepared for winter but the rain's been on and off and uh, I didn't want to get sick uh, the flu's been really been a really bad strain this year and that's the last thing that i need is to get sick with the flu or cold or anything like that to be to hurt me so uh i'm gonna make a few more casts in here because you know we can't make a last cast and um uh, yeah guys again i'm sorry if i look like complete absolute trash but thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe i'm jake and uh Hope you guys enjoyed this video, seriously. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, we're gonna be getting some more videos here to, here to you soon. Um, we're actually gonna be going back to Elk Springs Resort sometime soon. But uh, until then, you guys are gonna be seeing some more smallies and largey videos. So I know you guys are gonna like that. So like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.